character, their look, and so on. So the first thing I noticed about you was your smile and curly hair. Yeah. It says a lot about your personality that you're a fun and very outgoing person. So how do you see that reflecting on your designs? I always feel like, in general, with my life and whenever I want to do something, I always kind of think, okay, I shouldn't do it if it's just genuinely something I don't want to do, and everything else is kind of okay. And so whenever I'm designing, I kind of always try to think of, okay, whatever rules I've learned, whatever any kind of like reg regulations and restrictions with regards to design, I kind of just throw them out the window and decide, okay, I'm just going to do it if I feel that it's right, and most of the time it ends up working out perfectly. Sometimes I end up getting clients that um, come to me with a specific idea of what already they want for like out of an evening gown or a dress or whatever in their minds and a lot of the times I feel like I'm, it's a little bit of a struggle to kind of get them to come my way a little bit on artistic side and um, we end up going like back and forth and I feel like eventually they kind of get to it but I always feel like I have to sometimes compromise the initial artistic, you know, theatrical design yeah. out of their mind, you know? But to be honest, um, since when I started till now, it's changing a little bit, but it's still a little bit of a struggle, you know? This evening gown collection was designed with the theme in mind where I wanted to kind of have um, Grecian goddesses and the majestic feel of those like surreal and magical women meets uh, the Indian queens in the sense where you had like the really soft, delicate feel, but at the same time where you have the, Indi the strong and the boldness of the Indian woman with their strong prints and their strong colors. And for example, like I ended up getting something like this, which was made out of Indian fabric. And then you have the drapiness and with the bold colors and the red and the beige and the black. The reason I wanted to start teaching fashion design is because I feel like anyone that wants to learn fashion design, the immediate thought is to say, okay, I have to go abroad. And I hate the fact that, you know, anytime somebody wants to think that they need to learn something, they never think that we can find it here. And so I was able to go to London and I come back with a certain amount of knowledge. So I decided to come back and give that knowledge to people that actually genuinely want to learn like them, you know? Um, the program is a three month program and the first half of it we teach them how to uh, sketch because a very important part of design is learning how to, you know, any ideas in your head to get them out so that other people can see them. And then we teach them the research process, how to draw inspiration from the world around us. So it's not just copying other things but we're starting to innovate new ideas. And then afterwards we design a, a mini five piece collection and then afterwards, the second part of that is after we've designed it and learned the research process, they, we pick one of the pieces together and then they learn how to produce it and implement it so they get the theoretical as well as the practical and they can see their designs and their ideas come to life.